Hi, my name is Rhys, I'm the Managing Director of Adore. So I wanted to put this video together really quickly to explain our new Tampador kit called Tampador Universal. So we wanted to produce a kit that was very easy for customers to cut down in size to make a, a sliding door, whether it be vertical or horizontal. So typically Tampador Bespoke would offer a made-to-measure Tampador service worldwide. Um, so we wanted to produce this kit that made it a, a lot more flexible for customers to buy and, and choose how they want to cut the, cut the door and, and make best. So we work with a lot of trade customers who, who make furniture, um, who would buy this and um, cut the door to size to suit any bespoke project. Uh, camper van conversion companies we work with who um, do bespoke conversions. And they could buy this kit and have it in stock and be able to cut um, to the correct size. So in, in the kit, we've got your uh, tamper door, which will have 50 of these 20 mil slats. So they're a meter in length by 20 mil in height. So 50 of them would make you a meter. Then you would have two of your high, uh, handles, which are a flush finish handle. It's got uh, a little groove there, which we uh, we add um, magnetic tape to. So in the box, you'll have two strips of magnetic tape, and that'll give you a really nice flush finish up against the unit for a vertical or horizontal, which is quite unique, and I'll explain shortly. You'll also have your four spirals. So four spirals will allow you to do two vertical lifts or two horizontal slides. You will also have four lengths of metre track that are surface mounted, so which can be cut then if you're doing a horizontal slide or a vertical slide, can be cut to measurement. You will also have two L-shaped fascia, fascia trims. So for a horizontal um, slide, that would be fitted on the side, either left or right, and you just cut the internal measurement and that will hide any of the, the curve. So if you imagine that's mounted there, you'll see a curve. So the fascia hides the curve and it gives you this flush finish. And as you can see, it's, it's fitted at the top there. So like I say, it'll cover a meter squared of area. So I've got uh, two units here, which um, are a meter wide by half a meter high, 500 mil by a thousand mil. And this unit has got, um, cabinet has got a shelf in the middle. So I would need to do a vertical lift on this because a horizontal would mean the door sliding and it would get blocked by the shelf. So I would do a vertical lift on here and it's very simple. I'm going to do a full length and I've popped a, a spiral there flush with the front of the unit and the same for the opposite side. And what I did here is I, I pilot hold um, through the spiral into the unit and I use the um, countersunk screws and fix them into place. You can bond these into place uh, with, a, with an adhesive, a strong adhesive. Uh, it needs to be strong enough to deal with any sort of forces put on that as it spirals around. But by using an adhesive, you won't have any concern about any uh, screw heads uh, reducing any uh, friction or affecting the slide as the door goes up. So, yeah, if, if you can use an adhesive, that's great. So I, I mounted one each side. And what I did then is I cut my side track from the, from the down from the spiral to the inside unit and then... I fixed my fascia inside, so I took my internal measurement, I cut that, and then I screwed in three places here, and just fixed them up, and you can bond that as well. And then what I did is it's very simple to cut each slat, very simple, so you would mark up uh, your measurement, and then you would use a, a fine tooth a hacksaw, and just cut each slat individually, um, clean off any burrs so it's nice and smooth in the slide and uh, very very simple to cut because it's all made from an ABS plastic as opposed to our made to measure um, 
handle bespoke a handle bespoke handle is backed with aluminium so it's a lot more trickier to fit so this is we're using our ABS plastic handle uh, so th like I said the, the reason why this is quite unique is because a lot of tamper doors on the market you'll see this handle slap slightly up and it's finished with a slat now a slat is made of male and female grooves so this would slot on and then if you see this handle up and then it finishes on a on a female so it's not quite flush so you, if you look at the base you would see you would see this female groove that um, yeah, it doesn't look great so and then they move this handle up to try and hide it so this will give you a perfect flush finish at the bottom so you've got two handles there so i've used 25 20 mil slats to get my height and what I did is I cut my width down so I took my internal measurement and then what I did is I allowed for the the track so the track is two mil before it gets to the channel so you're going to have one side track there one side track there so that's four mil and then I took an extra mil off the width so it, it I didn't have any friction against um, the, the, the slide. So I recommend taking five mil off the width of the internal measurement. And the same for the height, if it was sitting on a, a, a surface mounted track and fixed up at the top, I would take five mil off the height. So very simple measurement to, to remember, five mil off, and that will give you the, the, the perfect distance you need. So I've got enough parts in the box to be able to do another vertical slide either side with my fascia. I've got 25 um, more slats available and I'll fit my handle onto that. So that covers my full meter squared. You may have cabinets that you would, um, you want to divide maybe 300 by 300 by 300 and then you'd have uh, 100 mil left so if you want to do that it is fine you've got enough to do two of those vertical or two horizontal of 300 by 300 but what you can do is purchase a, a kit that we've put together for parts so in that parts kit we've got two spirals another handle fascia and track and that's enough to create a third door from the original um, meter squared that you purchase you know you may want to um, purchase maybe another set of parts and you can do four doors out of the one door but that would still greatly reduce the cost of having to buy two doors to make four doors so depending on your unit space you know if you're a uh, camper conversion you, you know you might be using a narrow uh, width with quite high uh, height so, you know, you could have a 300 by a metre, you know, and you could have quite a few of those. So, you know, you could buy one kit, a door kit, and just a couple, you know, a couple of extra parts. So it should save you quite a bit. But it, it's good to remember that, that these will only load up 700 mil of door. So a typical kitchen unit internal measurement is about 685 mil. So if you're replacing kitchen doors, one door uh, vertical lift will easily load within the spirals there. So if you have got a kitchen unit and you've got the widest one, which is probably a, uh, a meter, what you tend to find is a pillar in the middle. So if you've got a pillar in the middle, there's a couple of options. You uh, You can, if you, if you can't remove the pillar and you've got shelves behind it, then you would need two vertical slides. So you'd fix your track to the sidewall, to the pillar, another one to the other side of the pillar and to the sidewall. And then you can have two vertical sliding doors with the track fixed to your central pillar. You could have an option if you've got no shelf behind, or you may have a shelf and an empty pocket of space. And what you could do is set your pillar back 
and then you can fix your surface mounted track in front of the pillar top and bottom have your spirals one fixed to the top one fixed to the bottom and then you can have one long meter sliding door sliding across into the spiral and then you'd leave about 300 mil from that 700 loaded 300 mil um, left at the opening so you still have lots of your 700 mil of space to get behind and what have you but that would only work if you set the pillar back and you don't have um, your shelves here if if you were able to take the shelf back 120 mil which is 12 centimeters 120 mil then you would have room for your your door to load up in the spiral without hitting the shelf so there's, there's an option there you've also got the option of have it sliding and meeting together so if you did have a meter wide and a pillar in the middle you could have your spiral there have a spiral there and you can have the door closing up against the pillar so you've your top and bottom track and slide up against the pillar or if you want to take the pillar back with the spiral uh, with the straight track in front all the way across with the spiral on this side and that side then you can have two doors sliding and meeting in the middle so you, and using it that way so if you had that option and you had say um, half a meter high by a meter wide and you used your four spirals up you would still half have half a door left so if you purchased um, some some more parts and then you'd be able to do another unit with this with the original half of the door that you purchased sliding and meeting in the middle so there's there's lots of different ways to be able to fit these sliding doors um, if you need any support on how many doors that you would need and how many parts that you would need um, please drop us a message we're on live chat um, you can drop us an email send us some pictures of your project and we'll have a look and we will recommend how many doors to order and how many parts to order but we think it's a, it's a great way to to save money in not having to buy lots of doors or paying a slightly extra for having it uh, made to measure because it really is that simple um, to cut each slab and, and the way that we've designed it um, means that you can really make the most um, of the money spent so please drop us a message if we're based in the UK we do sell internationally if you're in the UK please give us a call email live chat if you're international um, please go onto our website we've got some links there of, of how to order parts and where to order parts and, and the doors um, and maybe we can uh, arrange an international call um, to support